Countless millions of trees are felled worldwide to satisfy our demand for paper and cardboard. The process uses lots of heat, much of it created by polluting coal or gas. This firm in Sweden is heading for zero carbon emissions, but pulp and paper worldwide is the fourth biggest carbon emitting industry. Amazingly, demand for paper is still going up. After 50 years of talking about the paperless office, we haven't got there. Um, so we could change that by changing the amount of paper and packaging that we're all using. I'm now going to introduce you to an invention that is so bold, so brilliant and so extraordinary that you will think it is a trick. It isn't a trick. This is real. It's to do with solving the problem of what we can do with all the waste paper in the world, all the paper we print up and then just throw away. Well, in here, there's a machine that's going to wipe the words off the page. This is Barak Yakutieli, who's behind the project. Barak, we've got some printed paper here. Can you wipe those words off the page, please? Absolutely, Roger. It's done with a powerful laser and a special paper coating that stops ink soaking into the page. Each sheet can be reused up to 10 times. And look at the transformation. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Barak, what have you done with the words? Well, we basically evaporated the ink, and what's left is just pigments of the ink, which we collect, and those can be recycled back into new printer inks. So you've vaporized the script? Completely. So how's this going to become an everyday part of office life? Uh, we're converting existing printers with our solution. So we have a printer and then you have a deep printer that could sit next to every printer and work with every printer in the world. That invention may work with paper, but what about the cardboard that floods through our doors as retail shifts online? Do we really need it? This is one household's box mountain after just a couple of months. We're simply consuming too much stuff. It's a terrible habit. We've got to kick it. 